crypto industry is famous for its ability to deliver huge investment returns. However, high returns always come with high risk. The ability to grow your wealth and not lose money depends on utilizing the right investment process. By the end of this video, you will know 8 cryptocurrency investment tactics that will set you apart from the majority of investors if you utilize them with discipline. My friends, welcome to Stopbox Insights, a video series about innovations in raising capital, finance and cryptocurrency, brought to you by a professional consulting company. If you will find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Let's go! For the purposes of this video, you should understand the difference between investing and trading. Trading is focused on leveraging short-term volatility of a given token or currency, while investing is when you hold a given token or other asset for a longer period of time, such as a few months or a year or even longer. Your success in trading mainly depends on knowing the so-called technical analysis, which allows you to predict where the market is going now. Being a successful investor requires analyzing fundamental factors that drive the value of a given asset and having a lot of patience. Rule number one, and this is the biggest problem for anyone in crypto, is that you should always do a scam due diligence. In the crypto industry, there are more fraudulent projects than almost in any other, which means that losing your money is extremely easy and you should be very careful. This is a natural side effect of high returns. I will probably do an entire separate video about the best practices of recognizing scams, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button. But currently I will only briefly list two main red flags. Firstly, the team and the founders behind the project are not public figures and therefore you cannot create responsibility for them. Secondly, the company is trying to turn on greed by promising outsized, unrealistic returns without providing a very specific explanation of how they are going to be achieved. Generally, the higher returns are promised, the bigger is the risk that the project is a scam and the more severe due diligence you have to apply. Look for practical evidence, such as working products, calculate token economy, market size, watch the competition. Notice, this is not only about the requirement that project back their claims by evidence, but also about general style of communication, whether it is targeted at turning off your thinking or treats you honestly and lets you make an informed investment decision. Please, tell me in the comments about signs of scams that you have encountered and how you dealt with them, so that other viewers and community could learn from your experience. Naturally continuing the previous topic, Emotions are your biggest enemy when making investment decisions. Most common emotions that you will be manipulated with are greed and related to it fear of missing out. Other emotions include the fear of loss, which is shown by Nobel Prize winning research to be even greater than the desire for gains, the halo effect or authority effect, which makes you follow a given project only because it was supported by a reputable person that you trust the admiration that a beautiful business model or a vision can evoke in you, even if it is not supported by the real traction grounded in reality, and the so-called sun cost fallacy, which makes you attached to unprofitable business or investment even if it has proven to be unsuccessful in order to recover the losses. Another big problem you have to counteract in order to make wise investment decisions is the confirmation bias. It is the tendency that we have to look for evidence that confirms our existing opinion, however randomly this opinion or impression has been created. This means that if a given project or token has created a good or bad initial impression, this impression tends to become only stronger, even if it is not supported by further evidence. To fight confirmation bias, there are two strategies you can utilize. Firstly, you should be aware of the opinion that you had and after you form it, look specifically for the disconfirming evidence and even adopt for a certain time an opposite opinion in order to find the disconfirming evidence easier as now it becomes confirming. Secondly, if you are investing as part of the organization, a group of friends or investors, you should have a devil's advocate who would promote an opinion contrary to the majority. These tips will allow you to weigh evidence more objectively and therefore to make better decisions. 
please, if you are finding this video useful, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss our other videos on digital assets. Also, please, share this video with your friends or investment communities for whom it also may be valuable. The next pillar of good investing is diversification. A lot is already said on this topic, so I would be brief and mention only two things. Firstly, diversification reduces both your risk and your potential return, but meanwhile improves the risk-return ratio, making the overall investment portfolio more statistically profitable. Secondly, diversification reduces your psychological attachment to a given token, making it easier to have a good judgment about it. The crucial condition of a good diversification is absence of correlation. That is, the tokens you invest in should not rise or fall together, because this would mean that you have no diversification at all, so your money should be allocated to different industries, different types of tokens, etc. Please, tell me in the comments your approach to diversification, what kinds of assets you usually invest in, and what percentages of income allocate to different directions. This next investment tip is actually a superpower, a secret competitive advantage almost no trader and investor is using. The majority of people make their investment decision based on intuition and feelings. You can outperform them if you make investment decisions based on math, i.e. on the assessment of potential market size and the demand for the token relative to its current price. This does not even require complex statistical models or some higher calculus, only a simple school algebra and the ability to be good at estimation, which can be developed over time. In order to utilize math, you need to understand the different types of tokens, because they have different factors that drive their value and demand. We made another video on this topic, check it out to improve how you invest. The next related tip, which is necessary for good math, is to look at the supply side of the token, not only demand. Even if the project is very good and you project high growth for the token demand, but the economics is unbalanced and the supply will rise as well, the token price will not go up. Any of your calculations would involve making estimates. And people are quite bad at making accurate estimates. The strategy for making estimates more precise and your calculations more justified is to bookend your estimates which means to look for lower, middle and higher value of the parameters you are taking into consideration when making an investment decision. Except for improving calculations, this will also help you to consider the project and evidence from both optimistic and pessimistic perspectives, therefore to take more evidence in consideration. The last tactic is to set the tripwire. Independent on how good your decision-making process is, you can still end up wrong. To protect yourself from losses, you need to set up a tripwire. This may be a certain date or a certain milestone, achievement or non-achievement of which will make you reconsider your previous decision regarding a given token. I hope this video was useful to you. Please, like the video if it is so, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. We at Stobox help companies to issue tokenized shares and sell them to raise capital. So if you are an investor, subscribe to our mailing list on the website and to the social media so that you don't miss lucrative investment opportunities. If you are a business owner, reach out to me via the email bp at stobox.io or info at stobox.io to learn more how we can help you with raising capital using tokens. Stay tuned and see you in the next episode.